think there's a million horrible internal dialogues that go on the inner, you know, the inner critic yes. is, a, is a monster. And by the way, the inner critic is not you. The inner critic is dad or mom or the sibling, you know, it's not you. That voice, if you stop to think about it, that voice was programmed into you and it's not you. So, uh, so the inner critic and the people who succeed are the ones who's, uh, we all have the inner critic. And again, I've interviewed all these people for Rolling Stone. I know all their fears, I know all their insecurities, but are you strong enough to silence the voice and overcome it and just do it anyway? But for sure, but there's a million different voices. It's I'm not good enough, you know, no one's gonna like me, uh, I'm not enough, uh, I'm too good and they're not gonna get me, right? There's a, <laughs> we sometimes will flip to the other side, right? <laughs> you know, no one, no one's gonna understand this. Uh, um, and, uh, and so there's a million of those voices and that's usually, you know, critical mom, critical dad, or absent parent, because that can lead to the feeling I'm not enough, why is that parent not around? So again, I really believe that a lot of that's early programming that has to be overcome. How do you overcome it? Uh, I mean, there's two ways. <laughs> One is you just keep proving it wrong, right? Okay. And, uh, and the other, and like, I think that's a lot of what the truth is about, is, uh, is um, it's like, one is you recognize it. First of all, you recognize what your limiting beliefs are, right? So, so what are those limiting beliefs? What are those fears? A lot of people work with that, and that becomes their creative, you know, metier. I think my, my um, some of those, uh, I know a lot of artists feel like they're not, good enough or their work is not good enough and they keep crafting and crafting until it gets great but they eventually reach a point where it's they say it's good enough right can you reach that yeah. point but uh but yeah so we're tired yeah yeah yeah. you're just tired <laughs> just of get you're this just thing out of here yeah. that's really the worst reason to, to, to release it um I, but i love i love the creative process there's so many elements to it and there's but we'll get to that in a second so anyway first is can you identify the limiting beliefs second is can you recognize that they're not true and sort of you know disprove them if you think you're not enough or i'm can you really recognize that's not your voice in your head? That was a parent who just never gave you the time of day because either they weren't around or they were always working. So can you recognize that, A, it was something that was programmed into you that's not about you, and B, can you really just at least intellectually say that it's not true? Then C is either can you accept, make friends with it and still do it anyway, uh, or can you reprogram yourself, which you can. There's a lot of incredible, intense therapeutic processes out there.